लिए चलते हैं बंगाल समिट की ओर जहां पर रिलायंस इंडस्ट्रीज चेयरमैन डेलीगेट्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन अ वेरी वॉर्म गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सोनार बांग्ला आमी तमो आमी तोमे भालो बाशी इट इज माय प्रिविलेज एंड ऑनर टू पार्टिसिपेट in the 7th bengal global summit my hearty congratulations to our chief minister and the government of west bengal for organizing a summit of this truly global stature i begin by bowing my head in reverence before the great and the sacred land of bengal the land of swami vivekananda Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose and numerous other saints and patriots philosophers and scientists Mother Nature has heaped her ample blessings on this state the snow capped Himalayas at the crown the bay of Bengal lapping at its feet it is truly a beautiful and bountiful Bengal Last time I was here at this fabulous Biswa Bangla Convention Center was in 2019. Over the past four years, Bengal has taken yet another great leap forward. Its growth has become faster. Its opportunities for business and investments have become bigger. Bengal is today standing taller, more vibrant, and more confident of scaling greater summits. of success in the future respected mamta didi this transformation has taken place because of your visionary strong and determined leadership which is why the people of bengal have chosen you to lead them again and again as the late shri atal vihari vajpayee described you you are truly agni kanya the agni of struggles and sacrifice has made your golden character shine brighter and now you are making shonar bangla shine brighter for example the rate of growth of the state's gdp is 11 and a half percent much higher than the national average your tax revenue has tripled and so have it exports from the state capital expenditure on agriculture and allied sectors have risen nearly seven times the number of medium and small industry clusters have gone up 10 times bengal is poised to become the logistics hub of the east which will attract new domestic and international investments in terms of the cost of doing business it's one of the lowest in india therefore businesses and investors identify bengal as a land of myriad possibilities and a land of growth and creativity bengal has always been famous for its heritage of intellectuals and now bengal is celebrating its power of entrepreneurship all of us can see the proof of this right here in the bengal global business summit friends bengal is truly rising and the rise augurs well for the whole of india india is now racing ahead to become a 10 trillion dollar economy by 2030 this will make india the third largest economy of the world Bengal alone has the potential to become a trillion dollar economy in the near future. A prosperous Bengal will again become India's gateway to Southeast and Far East Asia. Countries like Singapore, Korea and Taiwan are regarded as Asian tigers for their growth economies. But Bengal is now becoming so agile and ambitious that the fearless royal bengal tiger will someday 
overtake all the Asian Tigers. I have no doubt about that. Respected Mamta Didi, today from this podium, let me assure you that Reliance will leave no stone unturned to accelerate Bengal's growth. Bengal has been one of the largest investment destinations for Reliance. After you invited me, Reliance has invested close to 45,000 crores in West Bengal. Today I am happy to announce that we plan to invest an additional 20,000 crores in the next three years. These will be in three areas. First is to further enhance digital life solutions aimed at augmenting livelihoods in Bengal and providing quality education, healthcare, and agricultural solutions at scale. Geo is about to complete the world's fastest 5G rollout in India before the end of this year, that is 2023. And we have covered most parts of Bengal. We are taking the revolutionary power of 5G to every nook and corner of the state, particularly to enrich and transform rural Bengal. With our rapid rollout of geofiber and air fiber, every home in Bengal will be converted into smart homes very soon. With this, Bengal will be able to use artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and other disruptive technologies to modernize every sector of its economy. This transformation will unleash new employment and entrepreneurial opportunities to millions in Bengal. The day is not far when Bengal will become a magnet for top-notch talent from all over India and beyond. I am happy to announce today that we have achieved 98.8% population coverage in the state and 100% within the Kolkata Telecom Circle. I am grateful to the people of West Bengal who have adopted Geo as their own. Second, Reliance Retail 2 is fast increasing its footprint in the state. Our network of nearly 1,000 retail stores will expand to over 1,200 within the next two years. Our retail business is supporting hundreds of MSMEs. We are bringing national fame to many regional brands of Bengal. For example, we have partnered with Prapuji, with Mukha Rochak, City Gold, Bisk Farm, and others, and provided them an unprecedented distribution reach all over India. Furthermore, thanks to Geo Mart, five and a half lakh Kirana merchants in the state have been brought under the umbrella of modern organized retail, bringing them higher productivity, income, and benefits of scale. We currently operate nearly 20 lakh square feet of warehouses in Bengal, and this will increase manifold. Dear friends, third is in the area of bioenergy. Today, every country and every corporate have big responsibility to fight the climate crisis and save our planet. To make the world a better place for our future generations, we must act now and transition speedily from fossil fuels to clean, green, and renewable energy. Reliance is carrying out this responsibility with multiple initiatives in new energy, including bioenergy. India has the potential to become the largest producer of bioenergy in the world. Reliance has become India's largest bioenergy producer based on the company's own indigenous developed technology. We target to establish 100 compressed biogas plants in the next three years, consuming 5.5 million tons of agricultural residue and organic waste. We will also help farmers to grow energy plantations on a large scale. This would help mitigate nearly 2 million tons of carbon emissions 
and produce 2.5 million tons of organic manure annually. We are planning to set up CBG plants in Bengal that will enable Bengal farmers to increase their income by doubling up as Annadatas and Urjadatas, producers of food as well as energy. With our current and new investment in these three businesses, Reliance will march together with the great people of Bengal towards a future of shared prosperity, technological innovation, inclusivity, and harmony. My dear sisters and brothers of Bengal, for Reliance, philanthropy is integral to our philosophy of doing business. As India's largest corporate-supported philanthropic institution, Reliance Foundation is deeply committed to participate in the resurgence of a glorious Bengal, a land whose artistic and spiritual heritage is truly priceless. Therefore, today, I am pleased to inform you about three initiatives. First, the Reliance Foundation has taken up an ambitious project to renovate and restore the famous Kaligat Temple in Calcutta, which is the seat of the reigning deity of Bengal. We are in the process of repairing the entire temple complex, including the centuries-old heritage structures and restoring the same to their original glory. Respected Mamta Didi, this project is as close to Nita and my heart as it is to yours. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Second, we at Reliance share your vision and passion for heritage conservation and for supporting the livelihoods of Bengal's incredibly talented artisans and weavers. I am very happy to share with you that the Reliance Foundation is working together with the state government to make Biswa Bangas, high quality handicrafts and handloom products available throughout all our retail channels across India. We have also recently entered into an agreement with Biswa Banga Corporation to enhance outreach of Bengal's heritage delicacies through our vast and growing retail distribution network. Third, Reliance has recently launched a new initiative called Swadesh to promote India's incredibly rich and diverse traditional arts and craft, both in India and globally. We are also setting up a large network of training institutes for the benefit of younger generations of craftsmen. Reliance Foundation plans to set up a training institute in Bengal with the cooperation of the state government. Respected Mamta Didi, my heart beats for Bengal for so many reasons. One reason is that some of the most intelligent and innovative professionals working at Reliance are from this blessed land of Bengal. And I can assure you that we will happily hire more such incredibly talented people and Reliance is very committed to drive more and more employment. Finally, as one of the leading private sector investment and employers in West Bengal, Reliance has had an extremely pleasurable experience of doing business in your state. That is why I have no hesitation in recommending Bengal as an ideal investment destination to all my fellow investors and global businessmen. So friends, come to Bengal and ride the high tides of growth. Bengal's bounty beacons you. Bengal's opportunity is inviting you. As Gurudev Ravindranath Tagore said, Nishidin Bhorsha Rakshish, Ore Man Hobe Hobe. Joy Bangla, Joy Hind. Thank you.